ordained on this earth, placed here by Jesus Christ himself to decide what is good and what is evil. I know what goes on out there. I hear it every day. You don't know. You have nothing to compare it to. No point of reference. You take a look at this thing we've asked you to do, and you think, oh, that's evil. Somebody dies. Murder. Bad. But I take a look, and do you know what I see? Do you want to guess? Good. I see good. Because I'm looking at the big picture, the outcome, the end results. I'm not caught up in the minutes. I can see what's really at stake. I mean, we're talking about a child, a living, breathing human being that will depend on you for everything, for life, for understanding. It is your God-given responsibility to lead this child down the path of righteousness, to make him a soldier for God Almighty. What a gift you can give him, the Holy Father. <clears throat> from your own body. Can you think of anything more miraculous? And if someone has to die to bring about this miracle, then so be it. People die every day. It isn't the first time. There are plenty of sinners clogging the streets. Drug dealers, pedophiles, <clears throat> rapists. We'll find someone who won't be missed. Someone who deserves to go. A degenerate. We're making the world a better place, cleaning it up. Washing away. Washing away the stain of one sinner and replacing it with goodness and light. An innocent soul, a child of Christ, yours to shape and to mold. What do you say? Is there anything evil in that?